How well do you know your push pull? Pretty easy, right? What if you have surfaces within a surface? And you try to push one of them upwards and there are holes beneath because of the reverse phase. One method is to add a plus sign by hitting the control key. This adds a phase where you just started pulling. For example, if I pull this upward, it just extends the shape or the object. But if I had a control sign or a plus sign, it adds a face. This is useful in making levels or adding walls. Another way to use the push and pull for the same height is to align it to a reference. And double click to use the same height. In order to punch a hole, make sure to hit the back face by rotating the camera and aligning it on the face. Or see where it gets highlighted on face. Follow me tool is also a form of push pull. It's great if you have cornices, gutters, and baseboards. Just follow me, click on the plane, and trace on the path. Another way to do this is to create the path first and connect a profile. By selecting the path first, you can hit follow me and hit the profile. This also works in creating dents. For example, using your advanced selection tool, hit follow me and create an ingress. So how well do you know your push-pull tool?